Because of the nature of these islands, they're very vulnerable to beach erosion. And you can see it, you see the, you know, the ocean is eating away every day. The challenges they face here are, are specifically related to climate change. These islands are very small. Agriculture is very limited. So when they have a field, it's precious. I met this lady, Muna, who together with her husband had this little lot of land and they were growing chili. She was trying to get an education as a teacher, so they needed that extra money to get by. And she'd done an amazing job and it was, it was flourishing. And a week before the harvest, the whole island was flooded and she lost everything. It's just devastating. If you look at the last few years, Globally, the extreme storms, it's happening more and more, more frequently. The storms are more ferocious and the consequences are so much more dramatic in terms of lives lost, in terms of, of damages, and in, in terms of the cost of rebuilding. We have to change fundamentally uh, the way we grow up with these things. These reefs are so fragile. They are directly affected by the temperature of the oceans. The bleaching was staggering. There were still a lot of fish there, but it was as if someone had just thrown paint all over it. One thing we know for a fact is that higher temperatures cause the bleaching. We have to change our ways, but it's a great opportunity because the consequence of making these changes are we get clean water, we get clean air, we get, you know, overall a better quality of life, and we get to stay uh, residents in this beautiful planet. <laughs>